hi everyone welcome back to sugar mama tv as part of the saving how to save money on food series that Leela and i are doing together so i have to say i'm pretty much lost here because i can see all these like items um that belong in the kitchen that i don't really know what are or how to use but i know that they will help save money on food so i'm pretty much going to hand you over to Leela, who's going to explain what they are and how they will help us all save money on food and groceries. Yeah. Well, as we were talking about in the last video, we were really looking at cooking in bulk, storing food. So I want to go through the absolute must-haves in your kitchen to help you do these processes. So my number one kitchen investment is a slow cooker. Okay. Now, a slow cooker is great because you can turn it on and basically cooks dinner for you while you're not home. Yeah, I've heard people say that <laughs> yeah. like an you know, eight-hour lamb, like, uh, casserole yeah kind of cooking all night all day long while they're at work yeah mm. exactly and what's great about that is um, these are really really cheap actually mm -hmm. to buy so the best way to get one is to have a look either on look online look for one that's on sale or like what I do with mine is I bought it from a second shop and mm -hmm. often like the box there's something wrong with the box well, yeah, came yeah. In, so mm. it's really really Damaged cheap box, yeah and then I actually get a timer that you just plug in at the wall and I will set it to go on and off by itself oh my god that's well. amazing I would yeah. never have thought of that. Yeah. Mm. So um, what I do is I prepare my dinner in it the night before and I put it in the fridge, mm -hmm. take it out in the morning so it's mm. really cold. So I'll set the timer so yep. it's ready for when I get home at 6 p.m. at mm. night and I'll get home and voila, there's my dinner. Now, a slow cooker is just for meat or can you cook like vegetarian based dishes in there? You can cook there? vegetarian bases in it as well, okay. like just like you would a tagine or mm. anything like that. What's great about the slow cooker is that because it cooks at such a low temperature, it holds the nutrients in the food better. Wow. Okay. So I generally put I mine on very low and mm. this is why if you're going to buy meat, we were talking about buying meat close to the bone, which is cheaper, mm. it tastes better in the slow cooker. Like I would never put a fillet steak in the slow cooker. It would be like an old boot when Ooh, it came yeah. out. Mm. Right? Yeah. So, so then when you can, you know, if you get a big one, this is a small one just because I live by myself, but mm. if you have a really big one, you can put, you know, I can put a small chicken in there and roast the whole chicken. Mm. Um, that happens over the course of the day. All the juices are kept in there. I will keep the juices, everything, and use them for other meals as really? well. Yeah, and then obviously, because if you roast chicken, it takes some time, but if I put that on in the morning, then it's done for the evening. Wow. Yeah, so okay. that's my number one kitchen investment, and so, so cheap. I need to get more organized in my food planning. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, we're going to do yours. Okay, what are the next things you okay. have? How, how the hell? <laughs> um, so straight after dinner, I'm going to put my lunch into mm. a container for the next day or for... Uh, leftovers to go in the freezer. Now I love Pyrex because I think it's really worthwhile investing in a few good containers because mm -hmm. A, with Tupperware they break a lot easier than these but okay. what's great about these is I don't have to wait for the food to cool down to put it in. Wow. I can put it straight in because when you put hot food into Tupperware it burns the plastic and that can be toxic, toxic to, to you. food. Yeah. Yeah, the other great thing about this is if I put this in the fridge tomorrow after work, Sophia. <laughs> Sophia, Sophia, come here. Well, after work, I can put this container straight in the oven, mm -hmm. so I don't have to. It saves me time, like transferring things from dish to dish to dish to dish to dish. So that goes straight into the oven. Yeah, so I can put this in the oven. I can put it in the freezer. I can put it in anything. So that's why I love it. Can you it. go in the microwave as well? I can go in the microwave as wow. well. So that's yeah. what I love about it. So I can take it. I can even take it out of the freezer and put it in the oven in the microwave. Yep. Amazing. So we're saving yep. time. I don't mm -hmm. have to have four containers. I can just have. So one. you can come home, put that in the oven, and go and have a shower, and you know, do whatever you want. Yep. Finish off some emails yep. for work. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, exactly that's the what I do. Okay. I just walk in the door, put it in, go have a shower or bath or whatever. And the other thing is, it's airtight, mm -hmm. so I can take these. In. Now they are glass, so you have to be mindful. They don't work for kids' lunch boxes and mm. stuff, but for grown-ups who are careful with their bag, this works for me because it doesn't leak it's airtight yeah I've had a lot of you okay and my, my second favorite vessel mm -hmm. is this one because this one is insulated and it keeps whatever you put in it hot or cold so you don't just, like I always see those and think it's like coffee or soup in there no so sometimes I will even put like mashed um, potato or cauliflower in the bottom and then I'll put meat on the top and keep it upright. Mm. Like I'll, if I'm going in the car, I'll just keep it upright. I'll keep mm. it upright in my bag, and there's a whole meal in there. It has a spoon in the top as well, which wow. is really helpful because I'm always though using cutlery in the bottom of my bag mm. or leaving it places. 
Um, and what I love about it as well is that sometimes you might want to have a cold meal, for instance, a smoothie. You can put a smoothie in that and it will stay cold all day. Oh, okay. okay. Another thing so that's my even green better. Smoothie can go in there. Yeah, your green smoothie can mm. go in here and it will stay cold all day. Mm. The other thing about I love about these guys is that if you decide, for instance, a friend says, oh, let's go out for lunch, and so you go out for lunch, you haven't wasted your meal, even though it's sitting in your bag, because it's temperature's kept, so you can still take it home and, and eat have it for, for dinner. dinner that yeah. night. Yeah, okay, yeah, amazing. Yeah. And the other thing I love about this um, is that people who want to throw it in their gym bag or throw it in their bag, it's really durable. Like, mm. you could throw this against the wall yeah. and it would be really hard to break, so it's not going to leak. So it's rocko proof. Yes, yeah, rocko proof, yes, perfect. <laughs> So mm -hmm. that's definitely a must have. So I have two or three of these. Mm. Also, I like that you can put it in the car in the coffee cup container, yeah. like depending on how depending wide it is. Depending on how wide it is. And you can get mm. them in different sizes. Like I've got really big ones, I've got little ones. Yeah, okay. so different things like that. Great. And the other thing that I have a lot of are uh, glass jars as well. So okay. if I make two, a smoothie in the morning, I generally make two because then it means I don't have to, like later I can keep it as a snack mm -hmm. or I can have it for breakfast the next day or something. So when we were talking about leftovers, these are my yeah. favourite for li the liquids. The liquids. Okay. Yeah, liquid mm. leftovers because yeah. they're much easier to pour out of than those. They're also really, they're quite cost effective as mm -hmm. well if you mm -hmm. buy them from those shops that sell them in bulk. Yeah, yeah. And also sometimes like when you buy like a jam or some sort of um, con, is it cons Yeah, con like a... <laughs> I condiment. Know. Condiment. Like, yeah. kind of beautiful jars. And yeah. Can, instead of having to buy it, you can just like clean it after you've used up all the yeah, products exactly. and use it. Yeah, yeah instead of having to buy jars. Mm. Yeah. So um, that's really this is really good too because it's airtight again. Okay. So the food lasts very long in it. Okay. It's sealed. Yeah. So these are the key investments that you think are definitely yeah. well, that aren't expensive investments aren't expensive. that will you know be very useful and helpful in helping you save money, get your food to last as long as possible, yeah. and stretch out so there's minimum wastage. Yeah. And I think one other thing that I would get people to invest in would be a food processor. And I didn't bring mine today because it's very big. Mm. And they're heavy as well. They're really heavy. Mm. But what I've noticed is that you can buy food presses, food processors, like from, you know, there's a great one on the market at the moment, which I just bought to mm -hmm. replace my, my really expensive one that broke. And it mm. works just as fine. Mm. Um, and so, you know, I know there's a big rave about some of these ones that cook and dice and do everything. Yeah, yeah. But you can have a really good food processor and a slow cooker and it mm. will do just as as good as the most expensive yeah whiz bang, whiz bang yeah. thing on the market mm. and they're actually quite cheap but i think they're really good because when you have one of those you can make a lot of your own things like mm -hmm. i make a lot of sauerkrauts and jams and yeah. things like that which save you a lot of money if you're mm. interested in doing something like that and it just does it really really quickly yeah. one little thing i do to save money is um you know i freeze my kale in little yeah. you know ziploc bags and instead of like once I've, I, don't, I actually reuse those Ziploc bags because yeah. they haven't been, def oh, yeah. they haven't like actually been in a microwave or, or melted. They've just been frozen constantly. So yeah. I actually reuse them. So I very rarely have to go and buy, you know, Ziploc plastic yeah. bags, which, you know, all these little things do yeah. add up over time, I think. And there's less damage also to the, the environment by yeah. you know, going through a high turn of, of Ziploc yeah. plastic bags. And I think it's worth thinking about that too, because when you like, look, I look at every time someone pulls out a piece of Glad Wrap, whereas if you have a great mm. container like this, I don't have to cover, cover it. it with Glad Wrap, Because it's yeah. got a thing that I can just push this so there's an air hole. Mm. So mm. if you want to put it in the microwave, yeah. you don't have to use Glad Wrap. To cover it. And you're not it's wasting just... those flimsy plastic takeaway containers, which yeah. aren't even microwave friendly anyway. So not only are we saving money, but we're also helping save the, the environment. environment. <laughs> which is really important. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I hope these little tips um, help make a difference on your shopping list and that we're making some changes for you. Stay tuned, we've got more videos coming. Ciao. Ciao.